Hi guys, welcome to this week's Urban Uncut. We are back from Goodwood and we want to show you our latest culinary. your car try it i don't want to try it it's one of those things that i've always wanted to try don't, it's like no. don't press the red button and you just want to press the red button yeah try it do it, do it. no i don't want to a double dare if you i don't no 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 i don't i'll just go a bit harder a bit harder i don't <laughs> gotta do it go <laughs> have you done it before no you've never done no, it before. i've never done it. i've never tried Bang! <laughs> <laughs> I, shall, I, shall I just... <laughs> <laughs> we can walk this up, can't we? Go on, do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. So, I'd like to demonstrate the Rolls-Royce anti-theft yeah, system. Yeah. And my glorious assistant will help me with yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does work. I think people will see the flashing indicators. <laughs> Let's leave that up because it looks cool. We are back from Goodwood, but it should have been called Badwood. Rainwood. <laughs> Rain, wind, and cold wood. Yeah. This was what's known as a 50 50 show. Thursday was good. Friday was a washout. Saturday was cancelled. Sunday was good again. The sun was out. We saw lots of fantastic people, fans of the brand, new customers. You spent two days there, didn't you? It was great, yeah, really yeah. awesome. You was lucky though. Yeah. You got two decent, well, I'm a one and a half decent. I did days. get rained on as well. Yeah. But that no, no, was great. That no, was bad. So we have back our Rolls Royce Cullinan one of one spec inspired by the Scott Disick build. This one has four by four carbon and we've made the executive decision as this is a car for sale. It has to have the flat face wheels because this wheels. car actually stole the show. Yeah, yeah. I was expecting it to be the Urus, but it was this. Yeah, so we obviously launched the Urus S, didn't we? And yeah. we thought that that was going to be the one that everyone was going to look around, but there's nothing more eye catching than it's this. It's just got so much presence. Yeah. And, I and I just think, you know what? This really has dominated since Scott Disick had his kit on his yeah. car. <laughs> We're but inundated with orders. We've got about 15 kits that have got to go to the States. So, yeah, like, I'm, I'm speechless. I didn't expect it to do this well, which is fantastic. It's your favourite as well, isn't it? This is, this is uh, you know, like, every person that I asked that came on the stand, it was the, usually the same sort of question, you're having a good day, shame about the weather, but what's your favourite car on the urban stand? And everyone just goes to this. Yeah. Um, it's just, there's, there's no, nothing like it in terms of presence, but this Why is Why is my... Rolls Royce your favourite? Sorry? Why is Rolls Royce your favourite? It's just, it's just, it just looks, I mean, I love the Rolls Royce brand anyway, especially what they've done the last 10 years, bringing the brand into the more younger generation. It's more modernized, yeah. isn't it? Um, but this, when the Cullinan was first launched, I didn't really like the look of it. No. But then I saw a couple started coming through, lowered on big wheels. Yeah. And then we did this kit and it's just, there's nothing else like this car in terms of road presence. No, and that's right. It's very dominant. And you know, and we was driving along the street, we saw the Rolls Royce Spectre. Yeah. Which is like, I, the first time I've seen Beautiful. one in the flip. Absolutely. Yeah. Super cool. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually excited to do that. A lot of people ask about the, the ride on these as well, in terms of putting a lower profile, big alloy on yeah. these cars. But the suspension on these is so good, really Really can't tell the difference. I it's think everyone who has one basically says driving on a cloud. Literally that. Simply as that. Yeah. So this has obviously got a little bit more detail because it's got more exposed carbon with a fine lining, four by four carbon fibre, and it features our new UF7 alloys. That's right, yeah, we picked out the details on the eyebrow, the lower rockers, some more on the rear bumper. As I said earlier, inspired by Scott Disick, 
you know, I, I think this sort of spec is going to be really popular. It's not available off the shelf as normal. We will not build any of these cars unless it's for some kind of special commission or a show car. So I've got the keys. I'm going to run it over to the showroom. Details below if this car is of interest to you. Right guys, so this is where it starts to get exciting. We've got a new 3D printer, have you seen in the previous episodes? And we have printed the first half of our Range Rover bumper. I know it's gonna be nothing like this when it's done, but we kind of wanted to test out printing half a bumper. And it's Why come not? out all right, hasn't it? We've got the capabilities now, we might as well. We have the capabilities. Now, we've basically bolted this together as half an assembly. And this is going to be like the first test up against the car. I think we're going to have to do some trim data here though. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah, if we just slot, slot this on, Mike, do we have to open the tailgate or is it? Is this no, it will go on without because there's a there's another part of the bumper that's either not printed or we're going to carry on and from we're the have existing, to put that on. so we'll, we'll yeah, work so on that. Yeah, so if, if it, it, that's right, exactly as I thought. So just here where you've got like tab data, yep, and just here where we've molded it together, we're probably gonna have to trim that out to see if it slots on yeah the main the main reason that we're doing this guys is to see the the bumper profile from the rear down to the tire we don't want to go too low on the sill so it basically looks out of balance with the side sill but we want to make sure we've got it at the right height and the right taper running all the way through from the rear as you follow the car down through the side sill so it's really important that we just sort of sign off on the sizing before we finish on the design let's get this trimmed Oh, not as young as I used to be. So one thing you'll see here, Cam, if you come in, basically this is the this is the clip data that we'll have to replicate when we make the carbon bumper. So just here you can see, because we've done a, a 3D print which has got a flat top on it, we've just got to notch out things here so it can slide in and sort of do a dummy test fit. Yeah, notice how the bumper around this area as well. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to a do... a lot more detail in and it. And it's got one of these special flexible tabs again yeah, that yeah. were a pain in the arse before. We haven't been before, very good at them, have we? <laughs> no, we haven't been very <laughs> But apparently, right, there's a new way that we can do it with like a, a sheet of Kevlar. Yeah, yeah, so it's on. So it's on like a sort of a, a okay. flat. But, but so that gets laid into the material, so it makes yeah, the laid in, flexible. yeah, so really strong. And I then, like, like you just mentioned, this bit at the back, we've got to decide whether we clip that on or whether we actually lay that all in. I, I don't know whether there's a. There must be a reason. Now, is it different on every car, or does it just need this flex to clip in? I, I don't know. I can't see it being on different on every car because that's like different body rather than you know, just different yeah. like exhaust variants and things like that. Unless it makes made sense for plastic injection molding to have these two as separate parts because of the tooling. Yeah. Because if you had to get the tooling apart and, and have re releases yeah. somewhere, yeah, that that's probably make, what it is, which makes make it easy sense. for us being carbon. Okay, Let's cool. trim, baby. <laughs> Try and keep it top secret at the same <laughs> time. Right, just make sure that that's Right there. That, right, now back end. Wait a minute, just one sec, it's crashing out here. So, so yeah, so the back end's where it needs to be because if, if you look at this corner here, I've slotted yeah. that in. Yeah, but it's, so is it still crashing out I in there? Lift it off that way. I can't say, I can't. Hold it there a second. It could just be material. Can you hold it there, like with that? So I can stand back. Yeah, it's too deep. I'm glad we did this. It's far too deep. Really? Yeah. What we need to do is drop this in low mode and take some pictures. Oh right, yeah, because yeah. when we're down there, it's going to be like yeah, this, Yeah, that's it? what I mean. Just there. Right, I'm just... You reckon about there is the right point, yeah? Yeah, I reckon. Sure, How look. did we used to get by without 
3D printing. I don't know. I don't know. Now. Yeah. You know what? So it, 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 I'm, I'm imagining the whole car, and that done. This this look, and it actually looks better with that tailpipe just actually hanging out a little bit. I always love them to be a little bit proud. Yeah. It just shows off that extra feature and extra layer. <laughs> I was actually, I just found my, I just found myself like jigging along to your whistling as we're doing a little R&D session. Uh, I, 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 I didn't even think Mozart. anything of it. And I was just listening along to him doing Mozart. You be careful in that. Unbelievable. Who keeps authorising these things? This is definitely back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing board. So while Mark's trimming that up, it gives me a good opportunity to show you a couple of new products. We have got our new L460 rear spoiler. Nice and subtle. It's got the urban badge in the center. That's gonna carry across to the L461 Sport as well. Just basically carrying on with the OEM Plus ethos. Looks really sleek, really nice from behind. Goes with the rear cameras as well. The, 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 the upturn on the spoiler looks lovely between those two. We have our new UC9R wheel. This is a fully forged wheel. It's kind of like an adaptation of our UC4, which is one of the previous gen wheels. We've done this in 23 and 24 inch. It's available for pretty much most of the Land Rover range. New Defender, Range Rover, Range Rover Sport. All look super cool, available in gloss black and satin black. And then we have our new Matrix Step. It's kind of an inspiration from the front grille. So OEM uh, drivers of this car can have a side step which basically marries into the design ethos of Range Rover. They're available now, they're available on our store, or you can call up and place an order for those as well. Why don't we take this apart? <laughs> we should have bought the handheld scanner with us and just mimicked it. <laughs> so I would like to say that we've been get given exclusive access to the new Range Rover SV, but we are basically on a covert mission to see what it's like. And it's actually pretty impressive. The exhaust isn't very inventive, is it? No, I mean, quad exhaust tips is a little bit old fashioned. So we will try and improve on that. Carbon letters. It's a bit cheap. I think it looks a bit cheap, if I'm Yeah. They look like they're carbon dipped, aren't they real? Aren't they? They can be. <laughs> Lenny's inspecting to check if they are. Yeah. I like the colour colour uh, the colour swash on the diffuser. Do you like, do you like that? that, I, that? I like a little bit of low down colour, yeah, I never did before. But obviously you can paint that, and, it, and it's kind of odd that it doesn't have any straights in it at all. It's very, like very, very smooth. Yeah. Almost not sporty. We've got some real nice cues on this. Split is really nice with the inside in carbon, and also the brake duct intakes. They've got this nice little blade where the center grill runs back. Really nice design cue. Bonnet vents are really large. I didn't think, like from the photos, I didn't expect them to be that large. Yeah, they've done the lower carbon seat back and then the fabric up the yeah, top. So the fab yeah, the seats are a bit odd. They're yeah. in some lightweight, like eco-friendly fabric. Hessian. Like when you buy a car like this, surely you want fine Napa leather, no? It would probably lend itself, because this is actually a carbon bonnet, but they've not exposed it. Not a fan of the carbon wheels. Don't know why you would do that. As soon as you curb one, that's it. It's all over, you can't refurb it. Overall though, it's a beautiful car, isn't it? It's one of those things that when I first saw the pictures, I was like, oh, that's a bit boring. But in, in the flesh, we could probably start thinking about how we can do a bonnet on the basis of the two cars now. Yeah. The new now, brand, have they done it? Have Mitchell done it before? Reese, what are you doing? <laughs> He's such an idiot. He's the same behind the back. <laughs> Go on, get back down there, get back down. <laughs> I reckon we can do better than that. The time has finally come. We have the Grenadier Urban Sidesteps. 
My customer has driven all the way down here to be the very first one to have them fitted. Let's go and have a look. Yep, all yours, Reese. Thank you. What we got? We got some double tube side steps for the new Grenadier. So these steps are our black version, but we've also got silver version in stock. These are much better on the car. Um, it much easier to get in. We made them adjustable so you can slide them in and out of the car a little bit. Um, but you should see in a minute how easy they are to fit. Four bolts either side, and then it makes them much easier to get in the car as well, Have You might Perfect. even be able to get in. That, that would be good. Do you want me to help you carry them over? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Orders are good, aren't they? Especially yeah. when you can get them out like super fast and when these are in stock. Exactly, well, yeah. So I know that the Grenadier factory ones have got a long lead time on them. Oh really, that's not good, yeah. is it? So it's handy when you want the ones you can get actually get in the car with. Then. Go on, show us, try glamorous. It. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're actually really Perfect. good, aren't they? It's actually really good. And, and that's look, with and it, that's is that with it set as far in as it goes? Yeah, as far so you as can as have it a little bit further out. A little out. bit further if you need as well. And then your foot goes actually onto it to come Perfect. out as well. Look at that. Right, you're happy with them, Heb? Yeah, I am. They look good. Right, the link's in the description. Get your orders in now and we'll uh, fulfil them as soon as we can. Right everyone, so Miltech have invited Urban to their event that celebrates 40 years. Now I don't know too much about it, but I'm putting two and two together. Miltech exhausts, tunnel. This is going to be epic. We'll see you there. So here we are then, beginning of the tunnel, 1.6 miles, let's go. So we're currently a mile into this 1.6 mile tunnel. And the thing that strikes me the most is how cold it is in here. It's like 26 degrees today and it's freezing in here, but we are literally under a field. But this place is absolutely amazing. Like, I can only imagine what this must sound like with like an Aventador or, or an 812, like a V12 with an exhaust. Um, but yeah, this place is so, so cool. I've got, got a bad back, and I? <laughs> it's got to that stage. The irony it? is, it was the, trip, it was the trip to America. You're nearly 50. Yeah. Stand it, with... it was the flight home from America. It's not been the same since. Then I went to Goodwood and literally messed it all up. You run one of the coolest, like the coolest, youngest, hippest car brands in the UK. And I'm moment. an old man. And you're a little old man. <laughs> I'm a little old man. <laughs> <laughs> little old man. Oh no, <laughs> it's all going wrong. Anyway, how cool was that Miltech Catesbury Tunnel? Right. I don't know, mate, I ain't seen it. <laughs> so this is YouTube. <laughs> this is, so this is what like, we were, like, I'm trying to lead you on oh, to my, uh, what was what, just uh, featured. Oh, uh, right, okay. Yeah, it was well cool, mate. How many bricks in that wall? 30 million bricks. 30 million bricks. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I just remembered the memo about this the queue. Right so Kate. Catesby Tunnel, obviously the Miltech, was it 40th, Tom, 40th anniversary? 40th year, year anniversary of Miltech, but yeah, 2.7 kilometers, 1.6 miles of a meow, straight meow, tunnel meow, meow. with Miltech exhaust. Meow. Very, very cool. Is that cool. what you all did? And what can they do if they want to see the full video? And if you want to see the full video, go to the Miltech YouTube channel and it is up here. See, I get it right first time, you see that? It's not up here, down here, down here, it's up there. So click the that, thing is though, you'll see it. I'm a different old man now, so I'm allowed to make mistakes. I didn't get the cue about the tunnel, I don't know where to click, I don't know whether it's left or whether it's right. Getting to that point, I'm gonna need a replacement for this channel soon as well. Someone young and cool. Yeah, I mean, we haven't got any in, in this business, so we'll have to employ someone. <laughs>
Uh, I mean, I, I'm going to assume that every single employee watches Urban Uncut and they'll see that and they're going to be very, very disappointed. Yeah, you can you. apply for my job on Urban Uncut, like get in the comments if you're a presenter of youngness and coolness. Right, how do you want us to wrap this up, Tom? You remind people that they can buy Grenadier Steps, please, and then wrap it up. Right. <laughs> there you go. The Done. <laughs> Grenadier Steps, available now. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week when you collect your Grenadier Steps. I'm see you next week. I'm going to have my granola.